Good morning. Welcome to another school edition of Screencast O Matic 2020. Um, did El Spidero. Let's see. Yeah, that's about all I can do today. Um, sorry, I wasn't sure how things were going to go last night, so I'm going to quickly do a video on this. Um, and then just so you kind of have somewhat of a clue what you're doing, there is the answer key. Um, on a separate link so just make sure that you stop it baby Yoda the child is getting in the way just keep on pushing buttons oh no don't do it don't do it the child we know he probably would really me or Yoda you want baby Yoda to do math okay he does not do math um, of course I can at least have more fun at school, right? So these are pretty much all the answers. All we're trying to do is you're breaking those ratios down um, from eight to two um, would be our first ratio. Sorry, I'm gonna leave it there. Um, eight to two would be our ratio. <laughs> I said I'm gonna leave it there and I still tried to mess with that. Um, cause I thought I had it. There we go. Um, so then that means how many pies per minute? Well, if it's eight pies in two minutes, how can we break that down? Well, you divide both by two and you end up with four to one. So four pies in one minute. See how that works? Um, go ahead and do number two. Six boxes can hold 54 books. So if there are six boxes, they can hold 54 books. Um, so then the question is, how many books per box? Well, we can simplify that again, all right? Six goes in six once. And I know six times six is 60. All right, 66 times 10. Uh, <laughs> um, so then I would assume six times nine would be 54. Um, I mean, six times hourglass. Three circles and down. Um, so I would say that there would be at least nine books per box. Okay. Um, so keep on working on this problem. As soon as you get these done, um, we can look at number 15 real quick. Um, work on IXL, work on extra math, um, continue to work on some math stuff so that you can get better at it. So 84 points for defeating 42 enemies. Wow. What a cool game that was. Kind of read something about somebody getting points for eating pizza um, on one of their math problems. It's kind of funny. Like you got 50 points for eating a pizza. Yes. Morning. Um, so if we have 84 to 42, then we would just simplify that and keep going down. Um, they're both even, right? So you could do 42. You could do uh, 21. Okay. Um, and then just keep on simplifying that until you are finished. Um, I'm only going to do that one because the answer keys are attached and you should be able to be successful. So that's really all you're doing with today's math lesson is that you're going to continue on with what you are um, doing in class. Um, so just keep on keeping on.